music on. Hi, nobody. <laughs> Well, for the repeat watchers, hey guys, what's up? I'm just setting everything up right now. Getting all the things adjusted. So, I just got an indoor bike. I realize that you can't really see it, but here it is. Don't mind the cat bed on the bed. Um, Just my palm. If anyone can read palms, there you go. That was your chance. I hate how zoomed in it is. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, I have to turn the chat on. Hold on. I will one day learn how to do this. I don't know. Is the chat on or is just no one saying anything? If you're in here, say something so I know if the chat's on or not. Also, I think I'm going to lower the music. Hold on. I just have... Oh, yep. Chat's on. Okay, is that a good volume? I have just like co no copyright music playing in the background because I cannot sit here in silence. But I don't want YouTube to get mad at me. Um, yeah, so guys, so I got this bike. This is day two with it. And I'm really excited because it's freezing in Florida right now. Hi. Um, and I know that sounds silly, but we actually have like freeze warnings for the next two nights, like tomorrow's supposed to be really cold. And like they're opening all of the shelters and stuff for people. This way everyone has somewhere like safe to sleep and all that stuff. So for Florida, it's cold. It's gonna get down to like, I think like the thirties tomorrow night. The whole point was sometimes I don't wanna be outside. <laughs> so sometimes I wanna be inside and I already do most of my working out inside. So a bike is just a new fun addition and I can sit here and I can do it with you guys. So, that was the whole point of that whole rant. Um, so yeah, I'm still, still getting used to it. I got the, is it Echelon? Echelon? Hey Melvin! Um, however you say it, that one. I didn't get one with a built-in screen just to like save a little bit of money because I already pay for a mirror um, workout thing. Um, but like I could put an iPad or whatever hi from tampa also from tampa <laughs> what is freezing temperatures i mean for me freezing is like 50s good night <laughs> um for me freezing is like 50s i don't like when it's even under 70 degrees personally that's not my jam um but like I realized that that's not freezing. So I would say 50s. But like I said, it's supposed to get like into, let's see if I can pull it up on my watch. I don't know if it'll show me that far. <laughs> oh yeah, no, don't switch up too. I don't know how to read this. <laughs> All right, so tomorrow the low is 37. Sunday, the low is 32. I think that's freezing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just personally me. All right, I realize my boobs are just out. Um, yeah, and tomorrow is Gasparilla here in Tampa, and I'm supposed to go out for a little bit and, and like, see the festivities, but honestly, I am second-guessing it. I don't know. I do not. I hate being cold. I just hate it. No. We'll see. Third to second leap. See? Exactly. Like, isn't that somewhere where it, like, snows or something? Like, 32, 30 degrees? I don't know. Or whatever. Hello, Miami. Hopefully you guys are a little bit warmer right now than we are. I actually don't hate this music. I was, like, trying to find, like, copyright-free, but everything was, like, really, um... The word is like synth, I think. So I was not into that. Gale Force Winds. Yeah, I saw this morning that um, they're suggesting people don't vote for Gasparilla. Because normally people, for those of you who aren't from Tampa, it's 
It's a big Tampa celebration happens every year. Pirates invade Tampa Bay. Everyone goes and parties. Um, there's like a parade and all this stuff. So there's a big pirate ship and they're out in the bay. And so other boats usually will come and watch them. You know, I always watch from land. I've never gone by boat. But um, like the city is saying like, you know, small craft advisory, like please don't, <laughs> please don't go out on your boat this weekend. Like it's gonna be very dangerous. So even if I wasn't going to guess for a lot, I wouldn't be um, boating this weekend because they're telling us not to, it's not safe. And I do have a little boat, little teeny tiny. But yeah, I feel like I need more resistance. This is, yeah. I, I know it's not that exciting to watch me work out, although it doesn't, you guys can't really tell I'm working out because it's just like the top half of me. But when I was doing this yesterday, I, and I was just like, had my iPad up and stuff, whatever, I was like, this is actually a good place for me to live stream because I can't do anything else <laughs> besides look here. So, so I was like, this is actually a good place. So if you guys like this, maybe this is where I'll live stream from occasionally because it kind of forces me to pay attention. And you also get to see, this is the guest room of my house. I don't have any guests. It's a cat room. Um, but it is friends themed. So you can see some of my friends artwork in the door. Because I'm obsessed with friends. So that's what this room is. And then the hallway. The rest of the house almost is like not a cool theme. Like that stuff out there. But this room's friends. And then my office is kind of nautical and kind of just gotten taken over with all of my stuff, which is just all sorts of things. My eyes are gorgeous. Thank you. I have pretty dark eyes. They're not black, but they're pretty dark. But I like it that way. Anytime I use one of those filters that has light eyes, it freaks me out. My look was not made for light eyes at all. It looks so weird if I use one of those like blue eye filters. My sister, my younger sister has light eyes. Um, me and my older sister and my mom have dark eyes and my dad and my younger sister have light eyes. But I'm happy with them being dark. I don't feel like light eyes suit me. I should, I should get a weight here and do this. Although maybe that's too many things at the same time. Also, I need to fix this because the seat rotates. I don't think it's supposed to do that. But, you know, learning. We're just learning right now. But, yeah, that's all I got going on. Is hanging out inside in this gloomy weather. I do have a nice view, kind of. Like, I have this set up. This isn't the best place for it, but um, I have stuff everywhere in my house. If this doesn't give you an indication of... Um, my hoarding tendencies. I love stuff. I love stuff. There's stuff pretty much every inch of my house. There's decor and other things. Um, so, but, so I put this here for now, but I can see out the window so I can see the water, which is nice. What got me into mermaids? Um, honestly, the little mermaid growing up. What are you watching? You're watching me on an exercise bike talk that's what you're watching <laughs> so really for you you're just watching my face I could do the Macarena whatever um but honestly the Little Mermaid I had a Little Mermaid um bedroom as a little kid I think I posted some pictures on Instagram but I can try to find them again but like my mom painted my whole room so it looked like it was under the sea and um I was just a big fan and I always growing up I always wanted red hair I was always gonna like I used to dye my hair like a natural looking red in high school and then um, at a certain point I was just like I'm going in I'm going all the way full aerial just leaning into it and um, you know my handle just became because it was kind of like a joke on that like I realized I you know have little mermaid hair so might as well just call myself Mermaid Tori. Obviously Tori's my name. Mermaids are fun.
fun. Like, I get why kids like them. It's a really cool concept. I have never been to Wikiwachi. My business partner invited me like two weeks ago. They were going um, kayaking there and I didn't go because honestly they were going too early in the morning and I didn't want to have to drive like the hour to get there. Um, but I've never been and I've never seen the mermaid show. The crab was named Sebastian from Ariel. <laughs> And then the fish was flounder. Greetings. If you guys haven't been to Magic Kingdom Disney in Florida, I've never been to the one in California, so I don't know, maybe it's the same, but the one in Florida has a pretty recent Little Mermaid ride and it's really cool. Like, I realize I'm a grown up, but if you've gone to theme parks as a kid, it's so high tech, like the animatronics and everything. It's just, it's a really beautiful ride. So if you have kids or if you're just like a Disney nerd, check out Magic Kingdom. Netherlands, we got Netherlands, we got Germany. Wow, guys, I don't know what the time difference is to know like where you are in your day, but thank you. It is 1.20 p.m. here, which is what would that be? 13? Is that how that works? Night. That's late, right? 19 because it's close to 24 is midnight. Can someone confirm or deny? <laughs> You're going to Florida next week? That's awesome. Where are you going? The good thing about where I'm sitting too is my fan. It was right there. I can just turn it on. I am Florida born and raised, if you didn't already know that. So very partial to the state, very partial to the weather, have absolutely no ability to be cold. 13, 20, see I was right with the 13. <laughs> Take out a state mortgage. Disney is pretty expensive. If you stay at like the parks, like I know, or like the, resorts that are attached to the parks and you get like some sort of like combination discount but still it's like a big thing like i know why families don't do it that often i'm i'm an adult with no kids so it's not as big of a deal for me to um you know go blow my money on childish things but if i had like three kids like i don't know how my parents ever took us to disney growing up Thank you, hopefully be back fishing soon if this weather gets it together. I don't know if it will. <laughs> I can see that my friend uh, is texting right now and so she's saying that on YouTube that she can see that I'm working out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna be sitting here, might as well. It's be a good time to like, learn how to do the wave. I feel like I can kind of do it with one arm and not the other one. Oh, that's really cool. I've never really fished the Everglades. I would like to. No mermaids in the lake. And a timeshare. That's good. Yeah, I'm not too far from Orlando. Obviously, I'm in the Tampa area. So it's kind of an easy over there. So I'm usually in Orlando like once every other month or something, just for something to do. No, it's not that exciting for you guys. Just watching me pedal on a bike. Vogue. Oh. I'm pedal boarding as a general rule. Really don't do much during the day. Work, work out. That's my days. So I'll probably do like um, 30 minutes, good night. Um, I'll probably do like 30 minutes on the bike today, maybe 40, we'll see. And then I'm doing an aerial class, aerial, not the mermaid, aerial, the, the air, um, this evening. So I kind of, I'll post some stuff on my story every once in a while, if you guys don't know. Um, they have like the silks, like Circus LA, you know, I climb and I take those classes. I know normally I would be doing little like 
sprints, but it's hard because I'm sitting here. But also, I like practiced earlier. Not practiced, but I was like had the camera and was seeing where it would be. And like, if I get up, it's just that's probably gonna get me in trouble with YouTube. <laughs> And that's why I had to put a shirt on because I was like, oh, YouTube is definitely going to hit me for this. So, yeah. Put a shirt on. Try to be family friendly. I made this shirt, guys. That's right. Made it from a pair of Walmart workout shorts that didn't fit. So, crafty too. She fishes. She cooks. She does not like to clean. And she sews. What more could you want? A lot. You could want a lot more. <laughs> Firefly jewelry. That is kind of cool. And Firefly makes me think of, um, oh my god, why am I spacing right now? I literally just completely spaced on the fucking Nathan Fillion sci-fi show that I love and I don't know why. I can't think of what it's freaking called right now. Brain's doing too many things. So what else is happening, guys? Tell me what's new in your life. Tell me exciting things, good things, things you're happy about, things you're looking forward to. This is like therapy hour, guys. Just throw it my way. And I will give you free life advice. <laughs> no, not what the hell is it? I literally don't know why I can't think of it. It's payday and Friday. That is awesome. Um, I do cook actually, like I cook most nights of the week. Um, you know, that's one of my love languages, I guess. Oh, okay. I know where that place in Oldsmar. Um, let's see. Lately I've been cooking healthy, so I'm going to make like shredded chicken stuffed peppers tonight because I'm currently on a low calorie diet. <laughs> I know. Mental illness. Um, <laughs> but um, so I'm always kind of jumping around and you know trying different recipes yes Jeff I do already know you're coming so exciting I don't have any trips planned right now we were trying to plan like maybe fly to the Bahamas or something for a weekend but with um, like COVID right now like flights are so like few and far between that's like you can only get there like 4 p.m. you know 2 to 4 on Friday and then you have to fly out by like 11 on Sunday. And for the price, it's kind of not really worth that. Like if I could get there early Friday and then like leave midday Sunday, but I don't know. So I'm not gonna do anything for now, but also I don't think it's really like warm enough in the Bahamas for me to wanna spend that money. It's like $800 just for the flights. And I'm like, if it's gonna be freezing still, Cauliflower nachos. No, I have not tried that. I will have to try that. I did make like a cauliflower mac and cheese the other night, which is pretty good. But because I keep looking up like food stuff, my Instagram and Pinterest and um, TikTok keep showing me like such decadent recipes. And I'm like, ah, like I saw them this morning and it's like these homemade pretzels with this like cheese dip. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. I can't eat that right now. Why are you showing it to me? Why are you punishing me? Whatever. Whatever. I actually went to a pizza place last night to watch. Just I'm going back to someone's in their band um, and watched my business partner, her sister, and her boyfriend sing. At, um, at bars and so I went last night and watched them sing and it was really good so I was like, well that's cool 
felt like a fangirl like, sitting because I joined them so like obviously it's my business partner's sister so she's sitting right at the front so like then I'm sitting right there I'm like I'm at the front row I'm like recording I'm like I feel like such a dork with the Super Bowl coming up yeah that is true but Tampa's not in it this year so I feel like I don't have to pay as much attention as I did last year <laughs> to the Super Bowl <laughs> Yeah, it, I mean, obviously Florida is beautiful, and especially for you, you know, it's not gonna have any snow or anything, um, but it is gloomy right now. How do you get a one-armed man out of a tree? Hold on, one-armed man. Float lake? I don't know, I don't know, tell me. <laughs> tell me the punchline, I'm so bad at jokes. I feel like anytime you guys ask me, my brain like cannot get to it. What's that punchline? I'll just I'll just patiently wait. Wait at him. Is that really the answer? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not good at the jokes. And then when I do find a joke, like the one I put on Instagram a few weeks ago, where it was like, um, the bear hands, I like, I'm like, it's so stupid, but like I'm cackling because I'm like, this is hilarious. And I don't think other people feel the same way. They're like, mm, it's not. I'm like, bear, bear. <laughs> oh, it's paws. I don't know. It's like, um, two posts down in the caption of Instagram if you want to know what I'm talking about, but I thought it was very funny. So. A cross between an elephant and a rhino. See, this the problem is my brain is going too literal, I think. And I'm like trying to picture what an elephant and rhino looks like. But I feel like it's gonna be a really simple answer that doesn't have to do with that like is it have something to do with just the cross or the between or is it really what the two things are going to be <laughs> sorry i have to get close enough aha i wish i could put my ipad like i wish i had um a tripod for my ipad so the screen could be bigger so that i can actually like fully read everything that you guys are saying in the future maybe but for now this will do you guys can see I have lots of plants in here or you can only see that one but there's another one of these shelves on that side of the wall and then in front of me there's a hole not a hole there's like a bookcase full of um, plants lunch break is over well, I'm glad I caught you for a few minutes. Thanks for hanging out. Go back to work. What does Snoop Dogg use to do his laundry? Is it like a dizzle type answer? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was kind of on, I was kind of on the right track there. Like thinking about things he says. So like step in the right direction guys. So we're like kind of quickly rotated. What do you do for a dog that has no arms and legs? Okay. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be something so clever and stupid. Like, just tell me. Just tell me what it is. But whenever you guys have like good, take it for a track, oh my god. <laughs> whenever you guys have like good like water or fishing jokes, you should DM them to me so I can use them as captions on Instagram because I'm always trying to think of new things to say. So if you guys have something that's like really funny and clever, you should send me a DM and then maybe I'll do whatever. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate that. Definitely trying to, you know, do them a little bit more often, come on here and talk to you guys. I know that um, 
Thanks. I know that, you know, Friday during the day is kind of weird hours for people, although we have a few people from Germany and stuff that it's at nighttime, but typically, you know, US based middle of the day, but I still wanted to come on and whatever, because like I said, if I'm gonna be sitting here, I might as well be talking to you guys. Otherwise I would just be watching things. Although I did download iFit. I don't know if anyone uses iFit, the app. Um, and so like yesterday I was watching, like I was doing like a biking thing and you like watch someone like point of view. Um, and it was like through Jamaica. So I was like, well, if I can't go to Jamaica, I'll just bike through it. And like, they're telling you like, oh, you know, speed up, do this, do that, whatever. But it's kind of cool if you're into biking, it's something better than just like, I'm trying not to just watch TV while I'm sitting here, so what a waste. And I do, I had this idea yesterday, which is this is how, you know, much of my brain needs to chill out, is I'm gonna build myself a desk so that I can work from here. Cause then I could just sit here probably for like hours. Like probably not like do it high speed, but like whatever. Like I know that's insane and I shouldn't do that because I should just like take the time. But um, I hate not doing like a million things at once. So I get so bored easily. Like I'm always doing a million things. So I'm like, okay, if I can build, but like, can you buy like pre-made legs that would be like this tall? I mean, I guess I could just use like four by fours. I'm gonna be like thick on legs, but if I could get like, um, yeah, ones that look nice and just put something on top of it, I could just sit here and be like, do 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 do, working like a psychopath. I don't know, just an idea. Clear my text messages. Are you guys bored yet? <sighs> what else? I don't know. What video should I put out next week, guys? I haven't even started editing a YouTube video. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Last time I asked, I did a poll on the community tab. If you're not familiar, you can look at, hi! You can look at the, um, I think it's when you go to my channel, you can hit like community. I'm not really sure. Um, but I think that's how you find it. And I'll post like sneak peeks or updates or things that are going on. And a few weeks ago I did, I asked you guys what you want to see. Um, and quite a few people said snorkeling. So I put out a snorkel video and none of y'all watched it. Okay. So let's try this again. <laughs> what kind of videos do you guys want to see? Because you know, I got a little backlog and you know, I need to know what to put out this next week. So if there's something you want, let me know. Oh, nice. Um, for YouTube videos, I've been using Sync Vault for like the music that I put in the background. Um, it's like a, I don't know, a brand you can use. And uh, they like post new artists and stuff that want their music to get out there so it's been really cool to use this music and help these small artists like get their name out there and get their music out there and of course be allowed to use it because that's awesome because when you're a content creator you're always looking for music tends to be a lot of almost like what's playing here if you can hear that but usually more techno-y because free music tends to be just you know music that you know people can produce really easily and that's a lot of like just audio no singing type music um, but kind of get a lot of complaints about that if it's like too like house music-y which I get um, so sync vault really cool if you're a content creator this is not sponsored they're not paying me to say this um, but you can get like a free account or higher accounts and they have new music like every week and you can pick it and use it so if you guys do that sort of thing there you go otherwise today I just have I looked on YouTube for copyright free music to listen to to just put on the background so I didn't have to sit here in silence in my own thoughts it's also why I ramble 
cannot handle silence, cannot handle just being within my own head. <laughs> Um, I do travel up north, not a ton, especially because in winter I hate cold. Um, I was in New York in the city in November, and then I was in Denver in December. Um, so I'm kind of good on cold until next year around that time, I guess this year around that time. Um, but yeah, when it's warmer out, I have a friend that lives in Montana. I've been there a few times. It's beautiful, especially when it's, you know, spring and fall, like before it's cold, and you can still like see the mountains and everything. I love that. Um, yeah, I've, been to, I've been to quite a few places because I've traveled a lot with Black Heart Burlesque. If you guys are not familiar with that, it is a traveling burlesque show. It's been on pause for the last two, three years, however long COVID's been going on. But um, I was the tour assistant for that for a few years. So I traveled in a bus with a group of girls going city to city all over the US. So there's not too many states I haven't been to. Um, so. Although I've never been, there's the few states that I haven't been to, I just think it's weird. Like I've never been to Texas like at all. I shouldn't say that. I've probably been on like a layover, but never like out of an airport there. And it's such like a big state. But yeah, so not, not too many states. I just haven't at least like spent an evening in on tour, but I can't really remember all of them. And a lot of times it's like little like BFE type cities in the states. Um, but yeah, hopefully Black Heart Burlesque will return to touring late this year, maybe early next year, I don't know. I don't know if I will even return to it, but it's still a great show, so if you're interested, look up Black Heart Burlesque, and you should go. <laughs> yes, it was crazy that like, it was so cold that night we got there. And I was trying to like, get food. See, there's things about like being the tour assistant that I don't miss, like trying to get food for, you know, 15 girls at 10 p.m. at night in little bummy cities, you know, that like don't have anything open past eight. Like, it's very hectic, so. But it was a really great experience, a great time of my life, so. Happy memories, but I don't know if I'll do it again. I say that, but I probably would get sucked in because I'm just like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Actually, I was—I don't know if any of you guys watch La Vagabond here on YouTube. I love them. I watch all their videos. I've been trying to catch up. I'm finally almost to like real time, which is crazy because like I started like two years behind them um, and watching everything in order because that's the way like they do their channel. It's like you have to kind of watch it through like a series. Um, but they are hiring for like crew for their sailboat to help with like their kids and other things and I was like hmm maybe instead of doing Blackheart Burlesque tour maybe I should just crew for them but I think it's like two or three months at a time and I don't want to do that oh that would be cool send me an email so and we can chat about that you can just email me at mermaidtori at gmail.com um, it's also in all of my bios and descriptions everywhere if you forget it but pretty simple um e at the end of the name it's one thing people forget yes i know there's no reason for there to be an e at the end of the name don't know why my parents did it it's there but your phone will auto correct it to just t-r-i even my phone like i have to like teach my phones how to spell my own name so they're just like no unnecessary letter Don't I know it? Almost at 35 minutes, guys. I mean, probably not. It says 188 calories. It seems wrong. I don't feel like I'm working hard enough to do that. Yes, I am definitely interested. Definitely send me a link. Um, I love to do things. 
Um, I boat out of the Tarpon area primarily, so Tarpon Springs, pretty much, pretty much from Tarpon to Dunedin, sometimes Clearwater, um, but that's where I primarily boat. Um, so it's the area I like. Kept my boat at Stamus for quite a few years. Um, so just the area that we're super familiar with. Years ago, I uh, used to boat in the bay. I'm not, not the biggest fan, no offense, Tampa. Um, but I think the Gulf waters are a lot nicer. Um, more fish, just like clearer, whatever. But yes, so if you, if you boat in the Tarpon area, it's likely you will run into me or see me at some point. People will like message me all the time and be like, I saw your boat today, I saw you at Three Rucker or Anclo or whatever it is. So I am out and about in the general area. So yes, and please say hi. Like I'd rather people say hi to me, which I mean, I get it. Like I'm awkward and weird. So one, if you say hi to me, be prepared. I'm very like, ah. Um, <laughs> And I get it, like, I don't know that I would, that just came out of my hair. Um, I don't know that I would go up to someone, but, you know, when people message me afterwards and they're like, um, oh, I saw you at this place today. I'm like, I wish you would have said hi. So, like, because then I'm, like, self-conscious. I'm like, was I being weird? Was I being awkward? Like, was I drunk? What, what was I doing? I don't know when this person was watching me and I wasn't aware of it. But I do get it. How long should I bike today, guys? Should I do 40 minutes or 45? We're at 36.53 right now. You guys pick. 40, 45. We're at 203 total calories, 159 active calories. 141 BPM. That's where we are, guys. But no one cares. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> it's just me talking to fill time and <laughs> space. Uh. If you are just like a very chill, mellow person that does not have any sort of anxiety or social anxiety or anything like that, like honestly, I envy you in your life. I don't know what that's like. So, I am just constantly like fidgety and weird and just hanging out in the universe and rambling so I don't have to ever deal with a second of silence because no one's chatting anything. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Can I be silent? Let's see. It's very weird. I did not enjoy it. Nothing? No one? Okay. Well, then I just have to go back to rambling. Because <laughs> no one wants to just sit here and watch me. Although, unless you're into, like, ASMR. Do you guys want, like, an ASMR video like this, where I just, like, you just watch me just bike, and I don't speak? Proper sense is beautiful. Yes, I love Dunedin. My parents actually were just in town last weekend and they stayed in Dunedin at the Fenway and um, they, they loved it. They had a great time. So they were only here for one night to go to the last Bucks game. But I know, I was trying to convince my parents to move here. My mom's very into it. My dad, not as much, but you know, what can you do? Aww. Well, I'm glad that I'm making you smile. That's really what I aim to do. You know. When's the next video? It will be this next week coming out. Usually Tuesday is what I aim for. Um, so like every other Tuesday. But, you know, I haven't started it yet. So we'll see. But that's why I was asking if anyone has suggestions what the next video should be. Let me know. Um, but I can do them pretty quick. I can usually bust out a video in like two days because I don't do any like, I mean, if you guys watch my channel, you see I don't do any like crazy editing effects. You know, this isn't like insane cinematography, but I did get a drone 
um, for my birthday, which was in September. And I'm, I'm still not 100% how to use it. I've used it like twice, and it scares the living crap out of me. Grew up in Coco Mara Island. That's awesome. I grew up on that coast as well. Um, I've been over on this coast for how many years? Almost 10 years. I had to think about that. I moved over to the West Coast in 2012. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> so, and I first I like fought it, kicking and screaming, but now I'm really glad I live on the West Coast. The weather is more like chill. The water's nicer. Don't have any waves, so you're gonna miss that like wave set. Not that we don't have any waves, but we don't have waves the same way East Coast Florida does. Um, but yeah, pretty happy. I don't know that I would go back to the East Coast of Florida. The water's just not as nice. Sorry, sorry if that's where you live. Better fishing closer to shore though. Short queen, yes. Yes, I am short. Tiny, tiny human. Ooh, powerboat week. That sounds cool. They just, um, Allegiant just started offering direct flights from St. Pete to Key West. So that's kind of exciting for me. The only problem is, is right now, maybe because of COVID or maybe just because they don't have a ton of interest, it's like only like two days a week and it's like Thursday to Tuesday or something which works for me because obviously I'm home in the middle of the day, um, you know, work for myself, all that fun stuff, but really nobody in my life has that same schedule. So it's like not as fun. I don't want to fly to Key West by myself. Um, my younger sister, she's, she doesn't do shit, so she could come, but yeah. If you guys know her, you know that she... Uh, you know, lives on her own schedule. <laughs> yes, in the summer and spring, like before it's super rainy around here, the water is so clear, so, you know, like turquoise. It's not Keys water, obviously, it's not crystal clear or whatever, but for, you know, being right off of the coast and right off the beach, it's pretty remarkable. So, um, if you go on my I can't think specifically of a video that it's like really great in, but I'm sure if you look on my channel and find like a summer video, you'll see um, how pretty the water can be around here. So. Also, no one answered me on how long I should be working out, so we're at 43 minutes, so I guess I'm at least making it to 45. You guys just keeping me going. Like I said, this is just my little warm up secondary workout i'll probably try to do this like almost every day on top of my other workouts just for you know just like get the heart going you know it's really important to take care of yourself if you guys don't just try to be active um yeah p county that's what's up <laughs> please don't tell anyone i did that she says as she records it for the internet um, but anyways, yeah, you know, working out, it's hard and working out at home is really hard for a lot of people. I do most of my working out, almost all of it at home. So it's not hard for me. I just make it like part of my schedule, but you know, just start somewhere if you guys aren't being active because it's really good for your heart, wherever it is. Um, right like here, I think, <laughs> um, you know, just you want to keep yourself healthy and whatever, that's what started me into working out, honestly, is, um, sucks at the Bucks loss. I know, but I was also kind of sick of going to the game, so, awkward. <laughs> um, what started me working out, I used to do Orange Theory, and, um, it was just, I was like, I would like to live longer. <laughs> like, I am not taking great care of myself, so let's work out. So I work out a little bit, I live a little bit longer than what I'm doing. Fishing is a workout. If you have an Apple Watch, you they have that as an option that you can put on and um, it will like record. But I don't know. Anytime I do that, my mom, like, because we're connected on Apple Watch, she'll like give me shit. She's like, 
really you're counting fish because you work out. I'm like, no, I just wanted to like see how many calories or whatever it was. <laughs> um, but yeah. I mean, especially if you're gonna be out there and like casting or like fly fishing, which I can't do, but that's like a lot of, yeah, especially fly fishing, see? Same wavelength. Um, yeah, that's like a lot of motion. I'm not the best at, um, I will answer that in a second. Um, <laughs> sunscreen, remember. I'm not the best at casting like for long periods of time, which would be better to burn calories, but um, uh, my shoulders really bother me. I go to the chiropractor like once or twice a week um, and I get a lot of tension headaches from, you can see this side's higher. Um, so like, I'll do like a few casts and then like, I'll take a break, then I'll go back or whatever. Cause if I do it like too consistently, like I will end up with a splitting headache almost like immediately. Um, I know I should try it. We have a, a rod, a fly fishing rod here, but it seems very difficult. <laughs> um, sunscreen, what sunscreen do I use? So kind of a loaded question because there's a lot of different answers here that you could say. Um, I try my hardest to use reef safe sunscreen and especially anytime I'm going to be in the water, I want to use reef safe sunscreen. Um, sun bum's a good one. Um, I just actually got a coupon code with red gecko. So I think it's Tori 20. Um, and they're all reef safe made in Hawaii. Um, there's one that's like Hawaiian's best. It's the same people, and so it's the same coupon code if you guys wanna use that. I don't get a kickback, it's just like save you guys money. Um, but yeah, so I try to always use Reef Safe, especially when I'm in the water. Um, seriously, I don't know, Seriously Fab, fan, fab Seriously Fab, I think, um, makes a great, reef safe spray that's really light it's like a zinc one and it's really light to spray on your face so you don't get like that white cast um if you go on my instagram my highlights i have a favorite thing highlight these are all in there so you can check that out um because i'm terrible at names and things but some bum's great because it smells really good but and they do have sprays now but for a while they didn't have any spray in the reef safe but now they do Reef safe sprays tend to get clogged. I don't know if anyone else has that problem. I feel like I'm always running into that problem, but whatever. So you can definitely see how my arm is much lighter than like my chest. Um, so when I go outside, when I'm on my boat, I put sunscreen on my tattoos always. So sometimes I don't put it on the rest of me, which I know is not good for me. But sometimes I, I like need a little color, want a little color, but I do always make sure that, like you can see how light that is. Um, so I put, I always put 40 or above first thing on my tattoos. And then the ones on my legs that are kind of spread out, like sometimes I'll go like too far around the outside and they just have like a white halo around all of the tattoos. Whatever, you just, just edit that out when you need to. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, I try to always have sunscreen on all the time, my whole body. My face always has sunscreen on. I know people get really, you know, snarky with me telling me I'm gonna be old looking. My ink is holding up. Well, thank you. Yeah, tattoos hurt so bad, guys. If anyone tells you they don't, they're dirty liars. Um, they hurt, so I'm taking care of them because I don't want to have to do it again. So I'm like, uh-uh, I did this. This was an investment. This caused a lot of money. Um, whatever. I don't know if I'm gonna sleeve both arms. I was originally going to. I was gonna do so many tattoos when I was younger. And the older I've gotten, I just don't have the pain tolerance that I used to. So I don't know. I mean, luckily this is pretty capped off here. Like you could fill in a little bit, but yeah, I don't think it looks terrible. I also wanted to do like my full leg. I don't know. But there's a few I would like to remove also. Like, but this is so dark, but I would like to remove that and remove the eye. I 
I know. I do get my skin checked. I do go to the dermatologist once a year and have everything checked. And I do get lectured, whatever. But, um, I mean, it's hard. It's Florida, so. Yeah, it is what it is. But, like I said, I do always have sunscreen on my face and neck, which is also why they're not the same color. This is probably the area that gets, like, the most sun. Because even accidentally, you know, you're driving in the car or you're just outside. Yeah. You know, there's certain areas that are just going to always get hit by sun. Face ally tattoos. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't know how many I have anymore because I, I, I know I'm just like count them by hours at this point and I have no idea. But yeah, I don't have the patience. Like I've gotten a few small ones in this past year. Like I got this one around Thanksgiving. I got one, this one over here around my birthday. Um, both for from a place in Daytona Beach that does like a gumball machine and you get what you get tattoos It's pretty cool um, Plastic flamingo, I think it's called in Daytona um, So those I can handle because I'm like 45 minutes like in and out. I can't do like I sat for this Eight hours for the outline and then probably like 10 hours for the color. I don't got that time anymore <laughs> I do not have that pain tolerance um, I have never hunt iguanas. I know it's gained popularity a lot, so I don't know. I mean, I feel kind of bad because they're so cute, but I know they're invasive. Um, so I mean, I would probably try it. You shoot them though, right? And I'm not, I don't shoot. I don't really know. I've only shot a gun once in my whole life. Um, so I don't think I would be good at it, <laughs> but definitely open to trying. I once had someone reach out that had like a gun range and was like, let's collab, like come out here and whatever. And I was like, oh, that'd be really cool because watching a video of me trying to shoot a gun would probably be hilarious to you guys because the one time I did it, I kept closing my eyes before I shot and they were like, you, you can't do that. You have to keep your eyes open. But it was like, whatever. So it'd probably be a very funny video. Um, but person ghosted me. So, you know, whatever. Maybe one day in the future. I will have a gun shooting video. I mean, I shoot the little fake guns at Magic Kingdom, and honestly, I hit all of the targets. So I don't know, maybe I would be good. Or the Men in Black game, Universal. Boss. Boss. <laughs> all right, guys, just a few more minutes, and then I will be getting off and letting you continue with your day. But thank you for hanging out with me. If anyone has any last thoughts, comments, suggestions, video ideas, now's your time. <laughs> or you can always comment, DM, or email them to me. The, I know, the eye is done really well. So, you know, it's not that I don't think it's done well, I just think it's kind of creepy. And I forget it. it's creepy, I'll be like sitting like this, and I'm like, oh, that's staring at people. And at the time, I had like a good relationship with the artist that did this whole thing and I would just go and let him tattoo me and fill space and that's what happened here is I just had this weird shape and he liked doing eyes so I let him put it there and it's done really well. It's kind of like a hybrid with a cat eye and it has makeup and the lashes so it's really pretty. I'm just like, look I'm sitting like this, is that creepy as hell or what? Am I just overthinking it? Everyone I tell this to is like you're overthinking it. But for me, I'm just like, I don't know, or when I'm walking, my hands is just like staring at you behind me. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably in my head. So, I don't like hate that tattoo or anything. This one I'm not a fan of, and I would like legitimately gone. Or I thought about blacking it out and then just doing white over it because it's so dark. But, and I know tattoo removal is a bitch. So. I mean, if I could find someone that really liked to do, um, like, the white art on the blackout, then maybe. I don't know. It, I'm, I'm not in a rush to do anything. I've been saying I was going to cover those two for, like, the last five years, and here we are. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Hopefully it is a nice weekend and not too freezing, but it's going to be. I don't know. Should we start, like, an over-under poll? Am I going to bitch out a Gasparilla? It's, it's definitely up in the air right now. So, I know my sister's like, 
or even texting me like, you're gonna come out, right? I'm like, come out, can we just hang out inside somewhere? I hate being cold. Like part of the fun of Gasparilla too is you dress like a pirate, it's the whole thing. I can't dress like a pirate if I'm freezing and like in 14 layers. Don't cover them, Dad. If I covered, it, it would only be two of them, not all of them. Um, yeah, I love my sleeve. I have no plans on covering it or getting rid of it. Maybe one day having it reworked so it's brighter again. Um, Cause the cat was like a purple color and just that shade with my natural skin undertones and everything, you know, it doesn't look super purple, but like you can see this red really well. Obviously you can see this blue teal really well. So there's a few colors that um, work really well on my skin. Um, so my watch is like, are you done working out? I'll tell you when I'm done. How about that? Um, but yeah, so that's another thing about finding a good artist is finding someone that, you know, is able to figure out what looks good on your skin and what colors show up well. Um, another color that shows up really well on me is like an orangey yellow. And I would have never thought that because I would think it's too close to my skin tone. But I have flowers on my leg on the cat portrait sure you can find pictures of those on social media or here on YouTube um, and that color really pops so you just you learn something new I wouldn't have thought I thought purple for sure because I thought it would be dark enough and instead it's just gonna be great but that's okay anyways guys I will let you go thank you for hanging out with me today let me know if you enjoyed this style of video um, because if so, we could do it again. I know that I owe you guys some fishing live streams. Definitely gonna get to that soon. Hopefully the weather's better here coming up in the next few weeks and I can get out on the boat. I won't be doing it this weekend. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see. All of that stuff. Um, watch my video. If you didn't watch my last video that came out like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago where it's, um, snorkeling please watch it i think it's such a great video the clarity the underwater scenes the fish the fish are insane in that video so many fish and it didn't do that well so we're under like 3,000 views which i can't even do the math of what percentage of my followers that is it's not good though so um yeah if you haven't watched that video please watch it give me like 30 seconds to a minute you know so i get that watch count um, and whatever. I think you'll really like it if you haven't watched it. Like I said, lots of great, lots of great, uh, booty views and fish and all that fun stuff. So, yes. Um, all right guys, have a great day. I guess I should stop this to actually stop my legs. And, um, we'll talk soon guys. Bye.